waiting for Julian to light it up, but Miggy did have a great heat this morning, so a nice warm up for him. Miguel Pupo getting the jump on Taj Barrow in the second round already today. Julian Wilson did progress directly through round one, third round, and then we saw Nat Young overcome Stu Kennedy. His momentum stalled by one of the best backhanders out here at Bells of the current crop. And it's going to be Julian Wilson getting things started and surfing with a lot more spark than he had on the Gold Coast with this ride. Looking hungry once again. Tapping into some of the form that saw him contending for a world title in 2015. And just sticking with this wave. Like all our competitors, they've been eyeing off this end section for big numbers. And Julian bashes it. You know what? I I, I kind of just ha had a bunch of free surfs and I, I just uh, gathered my own uh, my own spots on the beach, and it changes quite a lot here. As we see, look, there's that low center of gravity from Julian. Again, watch how low he gets. Wow, that was cool. He almost again dipped his face in the water on that bottom turn. So functional, but more I think just him feeling it. He's just feeling really confident out there. Got a little bit of swagger going. So, that, you know, the wave wasn't super exciting, but he had a, a decent finish. Again, watch this wider stance. It allows him just to be very stable as he lands on that little floater. But to answer your question, Ronnie, no, I didn't really have too many... ...point in time, but there's something to be said for that longer equipment. Oki just looked like he was in complete control. And a lot of times throughout today, even though the performance levels have been pushed to a new place on the shorter equipment, does look like some extra length would have helped some of our competitors as Miguel just times a nice backhand snap on this ride and looks to finish with something special rolling through to this inside another whipping backhand snap and a little float on the foam to finish as we see what Miguel got done on the outside here a smaller wave and uh, a lot of times you'll see the surfers being much more aggressive on a smaller wave because they're not getting pushed around as much definitely a step up for miguel a little bit of extra length in front of him nice little snap there for miguel cool thing for goofy footers they get just a little bit more pivot off the bottom and we cut out of that replay to live wow. action as julian wilson just gets bounced out on the flats had a couple of waves in his pocket Let's see if we can see this wipe out here. Nice little snap, trying to get down the line. Now watch as he falls backwards, that board's gonna go right underneath him. Right there, right on oh. his back rib. He's like, he's actually riding the wave right here. He's got priority and he's gonna use it on this wave. So Julian, he has to get out of the way as Miguel goes on the attack, solid first turn. Can he get out in front of this ride again? Just gets caught up in the wash for a moment. Does well to stay on his feet for the minute, but he takes a fall. So now Julian's going to get an opportunity. It's going to be fun watching Matt Wilkinson take on Kanoa Igarashi in that next heat. But speaking of big bottom turn, top turn combos, Miguel Pupo got a stunning backside turn in before this wave got away from him. here. Four for Miguel on his last ride. So Julian Wilson needs a 4.51 taken off deep but this wave starting to slow down and Julian gets up into the pocket. Let's go have a nice carve to get started. Keeps that flow. Just being careful not to get tangled up in that white water. Another smooth top turn. Driving off the bottom. Digs in a little bit harder there. Wants more though. Wants a big finish on this ride. Huge front side float. Nice tail drop. And there is a little bit more there. And Julian's going to climb up one more time and ride on out. Wow. So that wave just kept providing. But he was on his way to a big score. So a nice break there. And then uh, it led him to this wave right here. A long one. Perfect size where he could be pretty aggressive. And he strung together three or four really nice moves. Just took his time right there. A little check turn. Now the wave is going to line up. Connection right there. Nothing too crazy, but it got better as it went down the line. Threw some spray out there, but still the best is yet to come. Now he gets that cool floater, a nice connection with the lip. He thought it was done, but he had a nice little bonus section right there. 
all the way next to the button, so easily the best score in this heat. An early round loss. Well, this is a big win for Julian because this puts him into round four, three-man heat. He's not going to lose no matter what in the next round, so it's a big, big round to get past this round three.